Now that I've established that this is going to be the camera rotation, it's probably more appropriate to rename that to camera rotation. And of course, this is going to be init camera, camera dot forward. Wait, what? No, camera dot get forward and camera dot get up. So that should get that matrix. And I'm going to have one final matrix. Camera. Oh, translation, yes which is equal to a new matrix 4f. And like I said, I'm going to initialize this to, where is it? Translation. And I'm going to use negative camera dot get x and y and z, because that way it'll make the whole world move opposite to the camera. So if I, I'm moving the camera forward, then effectively it's just going to move the whole world towards me. So yeah. Dot get x oh C camera dot get position dot get x there we go and I'll just change that for all those so yeah there you go now all I have to all I have to do is actually use this which is pretty straightforward first off I want to apply the trans wait yeah first I want to play the rotation which means I have to do that multiplication after for would I know? Wait, yeah, camera rotation. I can type dot multiply by camera translation dot multiply by the transformation matrix, and then you just need the two parentheses, I believe, and that should complete our new projected transformation. So now let's play around with our new camera a little bit. First off, in our game class, I'm going to create private camera camera. And it's going to be initialized to, guess what, a new camera. So now if I just use this as is, so say you go to here, transform dot set camera to camera, yes, then this should give us exactly what we had before. So let's see what happens. Good. We have, our cam's essentially doing nothing right now, but that's exactly what I'm intending to do. So now I'm going to go in my camera class and create, I guess, a temporary method, just to sort of play around with a few things. So, public void input. That's right, I'm creating an input method for this. I'm going to have float amount1, which is, okay, eh, okay. Float move amount, which is going to be float. Oh, uh, hmm, what should I make the movement amount? One moment. And I decided to go with 10 times time dot get delta. And now I'm going to have also going to have a float rotation amount, which is going to be float. I'll have 100 times time dot get delta. And we'll see where we go from there. So now if input dot get key input dot key w so we're pressing w then I want to move in the forward direction by the movement amount and there we go so I'm going to do this essentially for w a s and d so s I'm going to move in the forward direction by negative move amount and a D, I believe A is left, so get left and get right. Yes, left and right by movement amount and Y O. <laughs> there. Finally, if input dot get key. Now for rotation, I'm going to use the little what's it called arrow keys. So dot key up. Then I'm going to rotate around the y-axis so that I'm looking left or right. Wait, no, I want to around the x-axis. What am I doing? <laughs> By the amount. And, hmm, interesting. This is, why is this not working? Oh, because I don't have an amount. By the rotation amount, there we go. And there we go, same thing forward, so down left and right 
and there's going to be negative. Left is going to try rotate y, and one of these has to be negative. I'm pretty sure it's left that has to be negative. I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that is the case. But I'm glad I checked because I actually need to reverse this. I want to rotate negative and up, and this much and down, because, yeah. So now, finally, in-game, I'm just going to do, where is it? Input, there we go. Oh, I still have all this code? Good lord. Well, I'll just comment this out for now in case I want it, for, I want it again. Probably going to end up deleting it. Camera.input. And let's see what happens. So, if I press forward and backwards, I'm moving. Press left and... oh. I did get those reversed. Wait, that's movement, so... What? Okay. Either way... Now let's... I have my calculations backwards, don't I? Yes, I do, okay. <laughs> so I want forward.cross up for get left, and up.cross forward for get right. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense now. So let's try that again. Up, back, right, left, there we go. I can rotate all around. I can see my cube from all its glory. And if I try going down too far, I get sort of a simulated 180 degree lock, because once I go below that amount, it actually reverses the direction of rotation with this system. So it ends up trying to instantly rotate back up, then it gets past that point again, tries rotating back down, up and down, and gets sort of this interesting flash effect. So, yeah, I'll implement true lock later so it doesn't do that. And yeah, for now you can explore your 3D scene with a free-moving camera. Yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, right, I should probably move this a bit so you can see it better. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Hope you learned. And I'll see you next time.